Line 2. This is Teacher Nancy. I welcome you to our mathematics lesson and our topic today is putting together. Okay, how do we put together? How do we put together? We take one object and another object, we put them together to get the sum, to get the sum. For example, I have a pen here, one, and I have another one here. So I have these two pens. So this is one and this is one. So if I put them together, what do I get? One, two. So what does that tell me? It tells us that one plus one is equal to two. Okay? One plus one is equal to two items. Okay, children? We can count so many things in our environment. We can put together so many things in our environment. We can count even our pairs of socks. We can count daddy's ties. We can count daddy's shirts, mommy's blouses, mommy's skirts. Okay? You can also count your pair of shorts. Okay, children? Very well. Now, today, we are counting also different things that we see around us most of the time. I know some of you like flying kites, especially now that there is no school. And all the day long, Monday to Friday, we are at home. So, I know some of us like to fly the kites when the weather is windy. Right. Now, here I have a kite. How many kites are these? One kite. Okay, and how many kites are these? One kite. So, one kite and another one kite, if I put them together, I get one, two kites. I get how many kites? Two kites, right? Now, below here, I have what? What can you see here? What are these? Eggs? No, they are not eggs. What are these? Someone says lemon, another one says oranges, okay? I have oranges here, okay? Ripe, juicy oranges. How many? One, two. If I add these two to this one and I say, I say add all, yes. So I have one, one, two, plus one, two. How many will I get? And I say two oranges and two oranges are equal to one, two, three, four. All right? One, two, plus one, two. What do they make? One, two, three, four. Okay, children? Yes, very well. Now, what do I have here? Well, very good. We have tables. How many tables can you see? How many tables can you see? I'm going to squeeze my sign there. Because when we are putting together, we use the plus sign. Some of you will say it's a cross. So it is a plus sign in mathematics. So what do I have here? I have tables. How many tables? One, two, three. All right. And the next picture, how many tables do I have? One, only one. And if I count one, two, three, and one table, how many will I have all together? One, two, three, four. All right, children? Yes. So here I say is equal to. Okay. So we use this sign here to show that we have put together items on this side and we are crossing on to the other side to write the number of items that we have put together the equal sign okay and we use the cross or the plus sign to do what to put together all right 
So, can we repeat after me? 1 plus 1 is equal to 1, 2. Very good. One, 2 plus 2 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright? Then we have 3 plus 1. And what, what do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, children? Yes. So, these are the examples of putting together activities. You can put together so many things. You can have the spoons in your house. You can have the... You can have the spoons in your house, you can have the forks in the house and you can put them together and count. Do that activity, make fun of it. You can use the onions in mommy's kitchen, count the onions, count the oranges, count the bananas, okay? There are so many things to count in our environment. When you go outside there, you can pick leaves and count them. Put them together and see how many you get. Put one, one on one side, some on one side, the other ones on the other side, and then how many do you have all together? Now, on my text, I have this Mathematics Activities Pupils Book, Preprimary 2. On page number 75, page number 76, and on page 77, page 78, all right? All these are activities about putting together page 79 and page number 80. You can do these activities at home. You can look, uh, do them with your siblings, with your parents, count, and then you write the number here in this box at the extreme right of the book okay so from page 77 up to page number 80 we have all these wonderful and beautiful pictures we can put together and put the answers here as we enjoy the pictures and learn the words of this and the names of these pictures okay children beautiful children if you don't have this book you can get another book in the house which may have the same activities and be able to do these activities for fun, enjoyment, and learning how to put together. Okay, children, thank you very much. I know you will do it and you will enjoy them and we will talk about it in the next lesson. Bye.